Well, it's been working for me, Davis. Let's get back to the action. Let's do that. I have literally no idea what's going on because we've been trying to fix the broadcast for so long. Right, let's try and crank ahead into it. At the moment, we have... There we go. Well, we've got the Larrison. Of the field, we've got Larrison fighting VR at the front of the field. The big story is that we lost Van Dorn during, between qualifying and the race. He qualified third. So this is the order at the moment. We apologise for those guys who press the right buttons as well. Not flustered. <laughs> VR is now leading from Lawrence. So VR leads from Lawrence, from Kayado, from Tolbo, from Amaral, from Braham, from NATO, from Barrick. And this, uh, for those of you who are not aware, this is the first round of the ATCC. We have said this about four times so far <laughs> tonight. Um, but it is now working, thankfully. And we are able to see what on earth is going on. And what is going on is that the fact that this man, Francisco Villa, second in the championship last year, is leading the race from Alexander Lauritsen as they come through the camera below um, just before the kick. And um, what do you make of that, Keith? Um, Keith? I keep saying Keith. I can't think of so much. What do you make of that, Toby? I just call me Mr. X. Um, I, I think Villa is, uh, <laughs> is in the prime position here right now. Uh, that's exactly where he, he wants to be. It's where he's used to being. And uh, Lauritsen is an un unknown quantity for VR, and uh, VR want to get ahead of him as quickly as possible, get a big gap, and make sure that Lauritsen stays behind him as they head towards the first round of pit stops. Kayado has made a good start to get up to the, the third position, and Talbot as well, who was in yeah. eighth, I think, in qualifying. So uh, he was. Talbot's done very well to get up, up to four. Terrible that. Yeah, NATO dropped back all the way to seventh position. He was in the top four, and Keith Barrett as well. Uh, he, he'll want to be a, a bit further up than 8, but he's only 3.9 seconds off the lead, make that 4.2 now. So that's not a huge distance at mm. present, he can do something with a strategy perhaps. Mm. He's going to have a, a, a tough task in his hands to get forward though. This is actually just the second actual race lap we're on that right now, and this is lap 3. The first lap was a manual formation lap, and back in the, the back in the, there is Kaido is under attack from Tarbor. Down into turn 2, Tarbor thinks better of it. He's on that last second. Kind of running a little bit wide, Tarbor could be able to get a little bit of a and better exit, perhaps. Yeah, that was, it was yeah. very close, it was Pedro Amaral and Yuri Braham as well, so we got two very similar livery cars versus the two very similar livery cars. In fact, two of them are teammates, the two blue and yellow cars you can see, two Team Portugal teammates, Team Portugal 2, therefore, Kayado and Amaral, and Tarbor trying to go around the outside of Kayado at the turn of the bottom of the straight. Can't quite do it, can't quite do it, has to be took him back behind and Kaido just about holds onto that position that was very very close there for Tolbo he was trying to go around the outside there's no way around the outside in the background there Braham got by Amaral as well he did um, he was squirming under the brakes he was obviously put a wheel on the grass or something Tolbo's still trying to get by Kaido <laughs> he's weaving around he wants to get past he needs to get up with those other guys up ahead because they're pulling away 2.3 seconds is now the gap between Kaido and Lauritsen and you just 2.3 seconds is a huge gap isn't it in these touring cars Huge. I mean, the, the, look at the end. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six cars in the same shot now as they go to the bridge. And uh, they're just going to run no some hell for the next few laps unless, unless Talbot can get by Kayado. He's right in the slipstream, right in behind him. And here is season two champion, Vincent Carney. He's just off the back of that group of cars. He's in ninth position. Here's, here's Barry Content. Oh, it's all on. The, here it is. It's all on here. Braham is now right up with um, one of his sister cars. They're Talbot and... Amar uh, it's Kayado has made the mistake. Kayado has made the mistake, and Torbog's through. And Braham tried to go with him, wasn't quite able to do so. Almost made a mistake and went right on the grass. And it would have cost him a position to Amaral, no doubt. Amaral's all around the back of him now as well, nosing up the inside. These guys are playing for kicks. And up the front, Lauritsen is slipstreaming via all the way down the straight. He's going to get a great slipstream here. Villa's had a, a dodgy lap there. Villa had a much bigger gap than that. Look at that, Lauritsen, 17.4. And he's that's less than a, well, what is that? A second off his qualifying time. Now, now he's always oh, right in behind him. Oh, he's gone sideways. Guys. He's in NATO. Oh, there's contact. VR and Lawrenson have made contact. Lawrenson pulled over. He knows he's going to have to wait for VR to come back through. Where is VR? He's been way back. Turn the grab He's rejoining. 10, 11, 12, 12 has gone by. Left Lopez or Gonzalo has gone through. There comes um, Lennon or. Um, um, sorry, uh, let it off with Nelson as well. well. That's a disaster, isn't it, for VR? Absolutely disaster. I was saying um, that... Uh, oh, we've had a disconnection there as well. There disconnection there as well. It's Ethan Bass. It's that it? Ethan Bass, yeah. Um, I was I was saying on the lap before that VR has to get a gap over Lauritsen. He's an unknown quantity for him. 
and uh, and now it's in perhaps showing a little bit of ATCC inexperience there, went for a dive, tagged the back of uh, VR, sent him flying into the gravel, and, uh, and now it's going to be all on for those two to get back through the pack. So that means, season Oops. three champion, Talborg is leading, and he leads a train of cars as well, so this he should does. be interesting. Very interesting, but who looks in eighth? Gary Lennon didn't qualify remarkably well, but he's had a great opening start to this race, and he's got... I think it's Diogo Lopez or Hugo Gonçalves behind him. It's Hugo Gonçalves right behind him. And there's VR right behind as well, in 10th. So Lotus is back to 11th. That's cost them both nine positions each. VR, a little bit of fussy looks there. Wants to get past his Portuguese teammate, Diogo Lopez. Let's go back to Walter Funk, though, because it is... It's now... Uh, uh, Tolborg's move on Amaral... On Kayado, sorry, was actually for the lead. It's turned out. And here is Kayado, pursuing Tolborg still. Look at this train of cars. Keith Barrick is now in six. Everyone has picked up two positions here. They're all laughing, really. And just the top six are very close together now, rather than the top eight. Group of SRB and uh, and Portuguese <laughs> drivers all all over the back of each other. Yeah, they're all it's, FDR and, and Team Portugal. Yeah, and uh, Talbot, Talbot's in a position he knows best. Uh, Caiado in behind him. It looks like those two are going to be running mates for the rest of the race. And Graham as well. Strong showing in third. Oh, look at the steer through. Oh, Brown's made a mistake. Oh, just slower. about gets away with that one. I thought he was going to uh, lose Always a lot of ground there. Amaral, perhaps. Yeah. Here we go. And Here we oh, go. look at the slipstream on Amaral. Will he have a go? <laughs> He's going to have a go with the on the inside, which breaks the field. Look ahead, look at this. Kayano and Torbog side by side as well. Torbog's defending. Amaral's coming past Yuri Braham. Is he? Is he? Quite him he is. Side by side all the way through. And Barrick and NATO looking for a way past as well. NATO's diving up the inside. Oh, sorry. Contact! Oh, it's all gone wrong. What are these boys doing? They're not taking it easy in the first round by any stretch of the imagination. That's VR it's up to seven now. Look. Seven now. He's, back. He's past three cars. What's happened there? Lennon's got past Lennon and Gonzalez. And Lopez as well, of course. Lopez would have not pulled that too hard. No. Um, here is Amaral in sixth. Nato in fifth. He's going to be in trouble for that. No doubt about that. He's given a, a Braham a big touch up as well. Oh, look who's in third. Keith Barrick. <laughs> he was in eighth on the first lap and oh, he's just taken, he is. taken advantage. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Snake in the grass. And he's. Well, he's in a, in a comfortable third now, isn't he? A big gap behind him to yeah, Braham and uh, Nato. This is where you just get your head down, concentrate on hitting your apexes and just get up to the guys who are, are uh, battling up in front, up, in, up front, don't you? Absolutely, absolutely. You've just got to focus on your lines and not concentrate. If you're not in the battle, you can make up good ground like that. Lauchson's up to 8th and VR in 7th, so those two still making good progress. <laughs> they are. They obviously have pace, they were leading. Absolutely not. They're very, very quick indeed. And we still have pit stops to come. This, lap, this race is 11 laps long. Seen very many laps. It is an extremely long lap time here. Two minutes 19, as you can see from Tolbock on the last lap. It's a big drop off in times, obviously. The tyres wearing a little bit. I think these two were, were racing side by side when we went into turn one and um, further on the lap also. So, when, when do you think people will start pitting this lap? Do you think we'll see people trying to use the undercut and just. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll we'll see a few people use the undercut, I guess. Those who are not in a, in a battle will probably not go for the undercut. Those who are. Will. I think Keith, oh, Keith into the pit. Keith Look, and he's pits. followed by NATO. Uh, Braham. Sorry, Braham. Braham's into the pits also. So that promotes NATO to third. Get the Braham. slowed down and come into the pits. Braham Hello. and Barrick rolling the dice. They're going to have a go at the uh, the front front couple. They uh, are. Why There's a couple of others in behind them as well. And he's, here's Matthew Jamine. He's got Diego Lopez for close company. So Diego Lopez has dropped a good another couple of positions because he's dropped in behind his uh, Lauritsen, VR and Jaminet. Oh, BMW as well. Big, strong, very strong BMW contingent this, this time around. I saw a couple of BMWs last uh, last at Liga Swiderski. He didn't even make it into server, server 1. That's how high the um, standard was. And Swiderski, Asby and VR, this season we've got plenty, haven't we? Yeah, and they're, they're all having a strong start are, showing. Obviously, people have done their <laughs> yeah, the people have done their uh, done their research, worked out what's best. Here we oh, go. Oh, we've got this battle once again. Oh, VR. I don't think Doris is going to hit him twice. <laughs> not. It's been done before. <laughs> it's been done before. Doris has to be sensible. Doris has to be sensible. He waited the first time. He probably, well, he might escape a penalty for that, but 
because he waited, but he can't do it again. He can't do it again. And um, well, I'm, to, to me, he didn't seem that aggressive. Just in, like just a small misjudgment. He looked like he had, you know, a, a decent gap. He wasn't actually even pushing that hard. He wasn't even looking down the inside or anything. He just misjudged the braking zone. Just a, it seemed like a very small tap as well because um, the R only went sideways rather than spinning around. So yeah, but it's, it's one of those where the consequences is yes. the is the real reason. Uh, it's just than fast part of the track as well, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. These two. Not an Oh, Torborg spot. has lost the lead to Kaido as well. Sorry, when did that happen? Where we, where we were <laughs> chatting and hobnobbing about Lawrence <laughs> and Rhea. But these two. And Kaido is very, very quick indeed. Cruz is. seemed to be slightly quicker at this track than the Honda. The Honda is not the fastest in a straight line. This it's is definitely a power track. It is definitely a power track. And it's beautiful on the brakes and a lovely handler. So it can carry the speed very well, but it's not the fastest down the straights, and of course, it's very vulnerable to slipstream, of course. And now into the pits they both come, so the leader's pit. See about the braking, and let's see where Keith and Braham come out. Keith Barak and uh, Yuri Braham. Who else will go through? To. NATO's in. So NATO is. Uh, just I think we'll everyone hit this lap, to be honest, oh, right? Look at this Tobol, look at the top, look at the space Tobol's made up on Kaido, look at this. Side by side they are now. Obviously, the braking though. He's researched his pit stop a bit better, and into the lead of the race comes Gary Lennon. <laughs> he won't be <laughs> this won't work. That. Two minute twenty. That's you know four four seconds off. It's uh, coming up for. But well, um, for, the, for the qualifying pace, definitely. Yeah, yes. yeah. But at the end of the slap, it will be. Absolutely. So, so I don't think this is going to work for Gary, but it's, uh, it's 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 a different strategy nonetheless, and he gets a bit of showboating in. And so they're all pitting. I don't think anybody else apart from Gary has carried on. It seems well, like. There's Corey Slade coming in as also as well. It might well be let's find turn, let's perhaps. find Barak and Braham. Torbog's beating Kaido. Here we out. go. Here we go. There's Barak and Braham in the background. Look. And Torbog's beating beating Kaido out. So Torbog's got the jump now. It's a beautiful pit stop. From Tom here we go. He's, here we go. Straight up the inside. There's Braham as well. Oh, he sweeps through. Oh, look at Torbog and Barak through. Torbog and Barak leading him. The Arcane one two. And Tom, Incredible. Uh, Barak has been compromised, of course, because he had to sweep down the inside. It was a very like, dangerous move. Oh, sideways. And look who's tapped onto this group. Vincent Kahn, season two champion. From absolutely nowhere, by the way. I wonder if he's hit it even one lap before. Uh, and here we, we are. Kaido on Barrick. Kaido has a big run on, on Barrick. This should be a regulation pass. Just needs to run into the corner, the same speed as Barrick, and take the apex away. But Barrick's having none of it. Runs right around the outside and chops right off the front of Kaido. Great driver for both of them there. Absolutely, they gave each other enough room. Kaido having oh, another go. Don't do it there, don't do it there. It's not the place all the time. And Kaido needs to just be sensible here. Pick his moment well, otherwise, look who's going to disappear. Tolbog. Look what where. Look? look where Francisco Villar is, incidentally. He's in the background, he's in the frame. And There's the, Nato. There's Villar. There he is. <laughs> it's not oh, actually. It, and Lauritsen as well. Yes. So they are still in with a shout. Absolutely. Definitely for a podium position, if not the win. Yeah, definitely. They, they might make it into the top five, for Which sure. Where did he come from? I have no idea. I, I have a feeling he might have hit an extra lap early, because they were doing two minute 19s, weren't they? So he could have easily made up a few seconds. Graham just got the run out of that corner onto Kayado, so... It's so difficult through here, though. It's so, it narrows up, and it just wiggles one way to the other. It makes it very difficult to even pick a line. Oh, I thought I thought maybe having to have a go there, but he didn't. Kayado went quite narrow into the corner, quite an early turn in, it seemed, from Kayado. Yeah, he's, uh, he's covering his lines nicely, this Kayado, and he's, he's a bit slumped there, it seems. He's, he's got the fresher rubber uh, fresh on Brown. I wonder if, so. his car, wonder if his car balance is slightly um, skewed with, though, because you put those those fresh fronts on, those people who bit, bit a lap earlier, technically, will have better balance. Look at Khan, right in behind. We know how fast the S60 is on the straights. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe he's just... <laughs> maybe he was just... we missed him <laughs> early on. <laughs> Could be that he was doing better than we thought he was. Well, everyone else did just do him a favour. All tripping over each other. Lennon incidentally is pitted from the lead and he's not even in the top eight now, so. No. That's a, that's a, oh, that, that Barry pushing so hard. Pushing so hard. He knows he has, has to get a move on because they're up ahead of his teammate leading. And he's difficult to ca catch as it is without a one second lead. Absolutely. It's Vincent Khan, it really is. He's right in there, isn't he, actually? Absolutely. The leading right train of five. Important thing. NATO's about to join, and so is VR and Lauritsen, I have a feeling. I have exactly. a feeling it's going to be an eight train, eight car train. Well, there's only three laps to go after this lap, so three and a half laps to go. Is that enough time? 
Don't know. These guys need to creep over each other a little bit. Look at that run that Barrett's got on Torborg. Torborg must have been slow off turn two because look, the gap's down to nothing. He's right the in behind him. It's absolutely nada. He's, he's got his. There's a big section of track now where there's nowhere to overtake until the uh, until the sort of snaking back straight, as you as you like to say. So um, he's just got to follow him through and make sure he perfects his lines. I'm going to watch this gap from VR to the front of the field. It's 4.1 seconds at the minute. I'll see if it's that comes down. It was 4.6. It was 4.6. Right, there we, go, there we go. go then. There we go then. And, and NATO's closing, and uh, VR's even closing on NATO. So that shows how quickly that gap's going down. Yes, and Lauritsen is 1.8 seconds behind VR now. He was much closer than that before. Yeah, uh, uh, incidentally, Jesper's, um, Jesper's sliding a lot more than I'm used to seeing him. I wonder if he's uh, somehow messed up his car balance. I know you were saying taking front makes the car oversteer. I wonder if Barrett's taking four and simply made up all that time. I don't you, know. But, but if you, the, the reason being, if you take front um, a lap earlier, it means that the, the rears are less worn than they would be a lap later. So you, you get less oversteer, technically, but of course you get less tie life as well. We have to put into a lap longer in the second stint. It's one of those where it's swing roundabouts and it's, it uh, it's, it's where you have to you have to do all your research before you even get into the turning has a, a, compared to Torbo. Torbo is very wide turning. It's, it, again, one of those corners that has a, a wide entry and a tight sort of exit, so it, it, it leads itself I to that. that so do I. <laughs> always, <laughs> always put a wheel wide. Always put a wheel wide. Yes. Feel, and whenever I get it right, it always feels like I have look it anyway. Look at VR on NATO, by the way. He's caught his yes, right map. And oh, VR's, right VR's made but, um, an extra tenth as well. I wonder if NATO... Um, and that's the track where the green group is not quite as strong. Oh, look at how much ground again there! Into turn one, he's going to drill the back of NATO for a second. You caught him out, actually. NATO's um, pulled a couple it's of car lengths. It's fire is VR. This is very impressive indeed. Considering how far back, what was he, 12th at one stage? 12th. Went back to 12th position. Incredible. Lauritsen hasn't been able to keep with him, look. It's 2.5 that, that, that gap. Yeah, it's a huge gap. Barrick 0.4 behind Talbot, though. I wonder if he's going to have a go. Doesn't no, it looks like, like it. just see them ahead. It doesn't look like it. Yeah. And Kaido is gapping Braham. Braham just dropped back. Braham, yeah, yeah look. Oh, look at these guys, they're so close. Just two laps. <laughs> I wonder if they've got a bit of damage as well, because he did give the back of um, Braham a bit of a drilling. Fiat's going to do NATO here. And Kayado's having not Kayado, uh, Turf Barrick, I think. Here we are. Yeah, this is... It's, so, see, this is where Barrick's extra lap of... <laughs> My extra apologies for pressing the field for not focusing on anything but the front, <laughs> front, front field, but this is so exciting at the moment. And, oh, look at this, three, go, three go, guys are three wide. And now Vincent, we'll see what Vincent Khan is made of. Because he is under extreme pressure for the car sliding from NATO. He, that's so characteristic of him. His car always slides. And VR was a bit of an there through. through that sweeper. Look, look at this. He's all over the back of Khan. His NATO, and he's. I think he's going to just stay in the slipstream and then pop out, and he'll do him uh, into this tight right hander. Here we go. He's right in behind him, isn't he? Oh, Khan's, Khan's defensive. gone defensive. Oh, that's the thing. You can take weird lines. Oh no! Oh, he's in the back of him, NATO. <laughs> <laughs> He's not, not going to go down well at all. That was. That, no. I have to say, I can't. Where did is look, Carl? I don't know. Where? Oh, it's still in the gravel. Pork! No, don't do that! Yeah. Oh, dearie, bit it all. What are you trying to do? Almost cleaning up Alessio Lucchese there. What I was going to say, as. Um, oh, I'm missing the whole front of his yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, oh, he must have gone Khan. straight into the barrier. Oh, Nathan did disqualify from this race at this well, race. Well, I, I was going to say that um, Khan did look like he'd gone defensive and then went back to, to his original line so well yeah that's true I wonder I wonder well, there's not for us to judge fit. not for us After to judge dodging all that the gap between Kayado and, Bra and Barrick just uh, two tenths of a second as well that's the, uh, the big this story and, the and Cruz that. is faster on the straight Absolutely. and he's right in the slipstream pick a call who's going to be ahead Barrick or Kayado coming into the lap I couldn't call it I couldn't call that <laughs> He's, he's right in behind him, isn't he? He's not put, actually making too much ground on him, is he? He's a breaking zone. If he's there, he's a towel, he'll be able to show all of them. I'm going to make sure he's there, though. Maybe he's using all of the track, actually. <laughs> yeah, I know. Both using all of the track. We have to come towards the well, hurry down. Much better aim pick there from Kyle, though. Kyle's pretty strong, but end of each stage, isn't he? 
Yeah, I'm just kind of to me. Yeah, maybe he maybe set his balance. Go, up look for at this. He's gonna have a go. He's gonna have a go. Oh, no way, Root. No. Barrett left a tempting little space there. Yeah, he did. I would have gone for that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Kaido knows that there's a better opportunity on the exit of this uh, long, long right-hander coming into the... Well, Look at Barrick! Barrick, oh, he's so sideways. Of course, he's got back... Oh, he got back in line! Oh, it's contact! Oh! Don't do that there, boys! <sighs> oh, Kaido's off! Kaido off. Oh, I don't think so. There goes Fiat. Now, Braham's just a bit too far back, perhaps. We give a bit of encouragement to Braham, please, and a bit of relief to Barrick. Absolutely. Fiat, look, Fiat's up to... What, is that fifth? Fifth position now, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we have to turn it off for the camera, but yeah, we have back up to fifth. Larrison in sixth. Those two will be uh, happy with that after after they uh, came together in the first couple of corners. Absolutely, but Larrison's been absolutely smashed by me. Absolutely smashed. Oh, since they came together, yeah. I wonder oh. if um, I wonder if Larrison had a bit of damage actually, to be honest. Well, it could be the case. But it didn't seem like a very big tap, did it? And he was able to keep pace with him through the traffic, so maybe it's just a um, case of. Lost his head of us, it's like lost concentration. But the big difference there of Khan, he's been knocked out of the top eight, which means he won't be in contention in race one, in race two. And NATO is still in the top eight. Absolutely. But that's, the, that's the big deal of, of that, of course. The reverse grid. The fact that Khan loses out in you know, double fault. Yep. Indeed, it is judged to be NATO's fault. In which which we can't, we can't obviously comment absolutely, on. Absolutely much, but no, without the benefit of replays, no. unfortunately, in, uh, in this live broadcast. Bit of the, uh, bit of Let's quickly go through the back of the rest of the field, actually, quickly. Go for go, it. Well, we are now on the last lap. We're, yeah, I was just going to say. We haven't really shown them very much. But let's quickly go through the rest of the field. Amaral's had a solid run, actually, considering he got punted off and by his own teammate earlier on. Uh, ninth place, this little girl, Lennon. So he did do very well, actually, in the end. Let's see what the Casey's in 10th. He's fighting with Kane Lasky. is a little bit of a battle. Lasky and the Casey. These two do not hold any taking the prisoners, prison, prisoners whatsoever. Oh, you see that, see? This is like setting the contact. And then uh, Kate gets back past the Casey. And sneaking right behind. Here is Matthew Chamonet. He's a cruise on the left, the Casey. Ball with Chamonet. His teammate Van Dorn showed great pace earlier on. Unfortunately, disconnected, not able to get back into the game. And Chamonet goes right around the outside and takes position away from the Casey. Easy as that. Taking well. candy from a baby there. That was easy, but uh, Jaminet was much braver on the brakes. I think uh, Jaminet should be much further up the field considering his pace. Might Absolutely. Be. I wonder if he made a couple of mistakes. Uh, the Casey... Uh, oh, look at this. The self is loads close together as well. Oh, sorry. Oh. It looks a bit uncertain as where his brake marker was because he was defending as well as I can say. The Casey was from the there as well. Corey Slade, debut in the ATCC. He's in 50th position at the moment. It's a solid showing for a debut. Let's just uh, check, back well on the the check back on the leaders, uh, Ryan, uh, VR is... Because they're about to finish late, aren't they, as well? Yep. So let's go back through the field. My apologies for those who have not got much coverage so far. And Torborg has a great lead. Look at that. And the reigning champion is going to stamp his authority on this race and win the race. Here's Lucchese and VR and Braham in close contact as well. Right it's to the line they come. It's going to be a drag race. It's going to be a drag race, but Torborg... He's going to win. He's going to fit start the season as he finished the last. And Tobo wins the opening rounds in a very torrid time here in the start of season three. And there's nothing between Braham and Villar at the line, but it is Braham. We've got it. Fourth place to Braham. Third place to Fifth place to Villar. We'd be pleased with that considering he was 12th at one point. He was almost back in contention for... He, was, he wasn't back in contention for a podium position. Sixth place to Alexander Lawrence. And seventh place here to NATO. Naughty NATO. 8th place, Amaral. Ninth place, Gary Lennon. 10th place, Kane Look at this train over the line. Lasky from Jaminet and Lucchese. And they're all fighting after the, uh, after the race as well. And there is Hugo Gonsalves, who finished in 13th. 14th was Diogo Lopez. So he dropped way back, considering he was in decent position at one point. 15th place, Coy Slade. 16th place, Vincent Kahn. 4th, Vincent Kahn. He'd done brilliantly to get up by up in 2 contention for a podium position. Unfortunately, taken out in an incident later in the race. 17th place, Ethan Bass. 18th place, Daniel McKernan, also in his debut in ATCC. 19th place was Matthias Klein. 20th was Eric Nelson. 21st was Simon Kyle. 22nd was Danny Asbury. What a happy race for him. Over a minute adrift. 23rd will be finishing Reese Garner. He looks like he's got plenty of damage on the back of his car. Obviously, contact the all the way around. 
I have a feeling um, Pedro Amaral was involved with, in an incident with Eric Nelson, so that's why Eric Nelson's down in 20th. And, oh, do you? Uh, oh. Yes, I've, I, have, uh, I have a feeling that's the case. And um, But what I would like to say is that as VR was 8.5 seconds off the lead after that incident with Lauritsen, and he, hmm? he's, he's ended up making up about 6 seconds in 7 laps. 3.7 so, seconds he was back, so... Yeah. Yeah, so so oh, well, almost 5 seconds, and that's yeah. coming through traffic as well, remember? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, he's putting some good moves in as well. 23rd uh, place goes to Reese Garner. 25th place, 24th place technically goes to Stoffel uh, Van Dorn. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to finish the race, but congratulations to Jesper Tolkien. Absolutely, he was there. He took advantage of uh, of all the problems, of all the incidents going on ahead of him, and uh, a nice calm collected drive. We're used to that from Jesper. And uh, Keith will be happy as well. We're very and, happy uh, indeed. Those two have made a good start to the season as teams. They have. They said FDR can then 1 2. And we wouldn't have thought that after the opening lap. But they were back in 7th <laughs> no. and 8th. Yeah, well, Talbot was up to 4th, but uh, yeah, Keith was in 8th position. At yeah, the oh, Talbot did a good start, sorry, my yeah. After qualifying, they were 7th and 8th. Oh, no, maybe 8th and 9th, perhaps. Something like that, yes. Yeah, they were nowhere near the front, really. And uh, they got out of jail, really. Now we're on to the standing start for race two, which gives an advantage to Mr. VR. Um, I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised to see VR and Lauritsen want to into the into the first couple of corners. Uh, me neither. NATO and Amaral um, yes. ahead of them, and that's it. So yes. yeah. And uh, I wonder what will happen if they're side by side into turn one. <laughs> we'll see. Um, <laughs> Lauritsen, I, I don't I don't pick Lauritsen now. You know, I think he's uh, I think he abuses his tyres a little bit a uh, little bit too much. He's quick. Um, but he's just not quite able to con uh, to have it over the entire stint. But he, he really uh, really pulled up on uh, on uh, VR, didn't he, early on in, in the uh, in that race? He did. Um, we, 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 do, we do wonder if he had, had a bit of um, a bit a of bit of uh, damage. A bit of damage. Maybe he tried a bit too hard and destroyed his tyres, but VR kept himself smooth. Because VR, once he got up to that group, didn't make any uh, inroads. It seemed, did it? He didn't. He didn't like. He got up to uh, one second behind Braham, for example, and didn't end up getting past, despite the fact being about yeah. two laps left. And he was, you know, eating into the gap before that. So perhaps he pushed very hard as well. Maybe Lawrence's time just went off a bit sooner than the uh, than the runner-up from last year. But everybody's actually on the grid almost. Oh no, plenty actually in pit still. And here is the pole sitter, Pedro Amaral. Very pleased considering he got hit from his teammate, some kind of teammate he is, <laughs> to finish in eighth <laughs> position. And uh, it's all important. It's so important to finish in that top eight every single race, isn't it? If you want to, if you want to mount a decent championship challenge. Absolutely. Well, Keith will tell you that he needs top fours at every race yes. uh, to mount a championship challenge, and you need top eights um, yeah, at, at, at least. Minimum. You know, if you have a bad race, absolutely. at least finish in the top eight. Absolutely. And then you've got a chance in second in the race, second race. If you're in seventh, you know, if you're in seventh or eighth in race one, you can't be too unhappy because you will, will be definitely at the front of the grid. For race two, it's you know that's the. But we, but we saw the stand last year. In the end, you had to finish regularly on the podium to win the championship. It was ridiculous. The, it was it, relentless from the guys it was, in the front. Absolutely, it was. That's the, that was the thing I was saying about Jesper. He never never makes a sensible a sensible mistake. A sensible that's mistake. A, <laughs> a large <laughs> enough mistake for it to completely ruin his race. Is what which I mean. It, which annoys you no end. Sorry, I have to look. Okay, oh, I, 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 like I like Jesper Talbot. Lights are on. Here we go. And away they go. And VR with a brilliant start, and Lawrence and Bonte down, even if he's not red cars, but a better start than he did. VR leads, Amaral is defending from Nate, so Amaral is going to slot into second. Keith Barry is the fourth already. What a brilliant start from him. Jaminet is challenging Torbock down into turn one also. But Torbock has the inside, sliding his Lawrence, and he's had a terrible start. A terrible, terrible start from Lawrence. And Villa's out front once again, and that spells trouble for the rest of the field. Nate's going up the inside of Barry. I'm sorry, Barry's challenging Nate, I'm sorry. Uh, Nate manages to hold him off. Off into the grass go the two uh, Team Portugal three cars of Gonçalves and Lopez. It's Villa, Amaral, Nato, Barry, Tolbo, Lorix, and Jaminet, lastly. Um, I got a curse on uh, Alexander Lawrence in there, I think. Oh, look at this! Look oh, at this! Contact! Oh, that was, that was probably Barrick's fault. He was squeezed across too much, didn't give any room to NATO at all. And he ended up losing out, and has actually allowed his teammate through. Tobox he's going to lose out further. He's going to get absolutely mugged here. What? He is. Oh, oh he's, been, he's been mugged. He's been oh, absolutely God. mugged. Keith Barrick's down. He's coming oh, down to nine contacts! That's, 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 that's,
ways. Here's Braham as well. Looking for his with three wide. This isn't going to work. This is not going to work. Oh, Barrick's going off. Barrick's going off. Barrick is way back in the field. Oh, 13th. Well 13th. And it's all of his own doing. Absolutely. He, he just, just lost just his head. Hadn't squeezed. Um, well, well, he, he kept his head okay. But he hadn't just squeezed NATO in the wrong position. He wouldn't pick that there. And he's way back in the field. Where is he? He's 14th. He's 14th. He had a brilliant start in the fourth. Maybe he's got a bit too excited. Excited to play hardball with NATO. We've seen people trying to play hardball with NATO. It doesn't work, it seems. And Lucchese and Asbury are out of the yeah. race and left the game. Look at this field way back. He's always back in this field. It's <laughs> it's absolutely voracious. Off the track. Off the track is... Is that Kaido? Kaido, what's track. happened there? And Chabonet, Chabonet's waiting, obviously there's contact between those two. Oh, well that's not Maybe. surprising, unfortunately. Oh no, maybe Kyle hit Chabonet. Maybe. He's let Chabonet go through. He was on the grass, wasn't he? He didn't look, there's not a place where you make mistakes. Well, unless you has got top. back speed. Maybe they made, they made several mistakes. That's very bizarre. That's anyway, very bizarre. Anyway, in front of the field, he was leading, it's VR. And this <laughs> is going to be a runaway win. I can I, see I, it. Yeah, so I have a. Right now. I, have, I have the same gut feeling as you. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro Amaral behind him is uh, Portuguese buddy, so he's Pedro got Amaral a bit of protection. Great, well, yes, Pedro Amaral is. Oh, of course. But Pedro Amaral is a great peddler, but he's not of the VR standard, especially not in, in that car around this particular track where the VR is king. And uh, incidentally, Lauritsen has got, got, got a run on Talbot here as well, so this should be interesting. Poor, poor, poor start. Went from fourth out. Third even back to seventh off the start. And I was on the inside. On the inside of Tolbog, and Tolbog knows he shouldn't fight it, he doesn't do a barrack, and he lets him go through. NATO's right in behind. That's both danger. Oh! And Lauritsen out of shape once again. I don't know if Tolbog touched him, but Lauritsen just likes to get out of shape when he's breaking. Yeah, he worries me every time he does that. <laughs> he does me as well. Let's get to the crack. And last game, uh, he's not uh, lost out at all either. He's, he's up to sixth. Sixth. Very good, oh, very good. He's under pressure. The inside. He's giving him room. He's run wide. He's giving him room. Now he's got the inside for the sweeper, though. That's the correct thing to do. Just a little bit of a nudge back to Braham as well, saying, Not on your life, boyo. I've got the inside. You can go right around the outside. It's not going to work. Of course, <laughs> now Braham's going to try and make him take a tight line, cut back in, and try and get run down the uh, down this, um, sneaky straight. <laughs> sneaky straight. Uh, well, he's right, in, he's right in position to do so. Lasky is showing pretty good pace oh. to be in the top eight so far. This is even a bit of a drift there for the king. <laughs> it should be easily flat in these cars. It should obviously. be easily flat in those Obviously, a bit of a balance issue. Here we go. Oh, no oh move. he's not no having to go. He's not having to go. He's making Lasky Although make a mistake. Although Lasky's running up wide. He's letting Lasky make a mistake. That was a beautiful canny ploy there from Kiri Braham. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, he better if you try. Slip through takes the position away from Kane Lasky, so he moves up into a position that we cannot determine until <laughs> right, he to the right button. <laughs> Seventh position. I, oh, oh like they both run wide! I saw them do that earlier, but he's not going to get away with it this time. Then he's under attack from um, the teammates as well, Lasky, clean. And Lasky's going to retake the position, he's already back up to six straight. Hooking the inside wall a lot, not quite sure why he's doing that, he'll come across a little bit more, Lasky. And uh, he was done so. Oh, so. Well, there we go. He's just working out how far he, he can have the sweep in front. It'd be interesting to see where, where Keith has ended up. Oh! And Lasky's made a mistake once again. And Keith is now in 10th position. Wow. Um, Lauritsen, Lauritsen by Amaral as well, by the way. Keith's in 10th, right behind this battle with Braham and um, the other bloke. Lasky. <laughs> <laughs> the other bloke. Matthew Jamin is back in 19th, Kaido 18th, Kylo 20th, those are all very good races. Quick quick, yeah, and weird to see him back there, look at this. From uh, Barrick, he's trying to make a move as soon as he can. Go. Oh, oh no, no, you he, can't he, do he, that! He's bumped the back of Lennon, he just backs out of it. Obviously Lennon was slowed up by the fact that Klein, Klein, Klein even was coming down the inside. And he's also got one of the um, Team Portugal cars, Diogo Lopez, there. For a bit of company, because he can't his lights on in the background. Trying to let the guys know he's coming. In 12th. And so Barrick trying to go around. Now it's up to second, by the way. He's passed uh, Talborg and Amaral now. Amaral, so they both passed Amaral. That was to say, Amaral not able to show the pace of the front runners. He's dropping back. 
but NATO's not, not held on that group at all. 1.2 seconds back off Amaral, and Barrick is determined to get past Lennon, and Lennon's, Lennon's not the easiest guy to get past the, the, the best of time, is he? He's never been the easiest uh, guy to get past at any stage in any race ever. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's a very wily character, and he, he'll defend um, yeah, so, so, in a perfect so, manner. He will, and, and so speak both of us in experience fashion. Yes, oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Look at this. Lennon's on the inside. He's giving him a car's win. Lost the oh, corner. He's the car, so he gives nice it game. away. You that's see, it, that's the thing about Lennon. It's predictable. You know what? You know what? You, you know what he's going to do. He's going to be fair and hard. And he, he recognises the guy's got a more more than an overlap. And he will just get back out of it. And there's no, you, can, you can you can go around the outside and turn in without you know knowing that he's going to hit the, the back end of the car and he's spinning off of the track, which is absolutely. more than can be said for a lot of other drivers around. Absolutely. So, you, you, they panic some of them, and uh, and you do. Well, yeah. I mean, there's, there's drivers you come up, you come up behind certain uh, certain names, and you just don't want to make a move. Names there, Toby? No, I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> Why not? I don't, don't want to incriminate myself. <laughs> just want to meet them on the world tour in Massa. Absolutely. Landon is nosing at the back of uh, Barrett now. Not seriously. Like he's just trying to annoy him. Amaral's, uh, Amaral's caught back up to uh, Talbot whilst we're, uh, whilst we're watching this battle. So the battle. And he just got past um, Amaral when we last saw it on the um, Yeah, but it was, it was, it was so a 1.1 second gap, so... Which one it was? Um, anyway. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was more like half a second, so... It looks like it's uh, about the same as it was before. NATO, wow, under breaking there. Oh, that's why, because <laughs> it's really wide. <laughs> that's why it was a bit deep and breaking. Lawrence is now 2.7 seconds behind VR. And what do you think? Are you going to close the gap? No, I think uh, I think Lawrence is using his tyres a little bit more than VR because I mean VR has done a 17.4, which is a, a, an excellent lap time. In all fairness can, to him, when, when you can see the driver, how much ahead track of you, is using? <laughs> when you can see the driver ahead of you, it always gives you a bit more incentive, though, doesn't it? Than when you can't. Yes, it's much easier to be the uh, the chaser than the one being chased because you're looking in your mirrors and not looking where you're going. Um, just about so. to know the exhaust fumes there from uh, this leader VR. <laughs> we'll watch. We'll see. We'll see if it, uh, if it's a big gap actually, isn't it? It, it, it is. It is. Quite a big gap, but it could be. It is. We all want to lock in a bit. But nine now, look. Yeah, much closer yeah. to that middle sector. The Talbog's Talbog is gapping Amaral. That was obviously being fixed. <laughs> 1.1 second now is the gap. Don't think he's going to catch Lawrence though, unless Lawrence makes a mistake. It's all fairly safe to quote the front. Graham and Lasky are having a ding dong battle. They are. We're just about to, about to go back to this. This is like Tobog won the race in the pits last time around. He came in the pits behind Kaido, came out ahead. It's probably side by side under braking. Despite being behind it when it went into the pits. And they came out ahead of that group and he was able to gap them while they were battling. So that's what won him the race. Pit stop. And into the pits. Oh, so that's early. That Lasky. is early, Mr. Lasky. Let's see how this goes. Last last season, he was our man in the pits. He was the one judging the pit call, so he's obviously picked up a thing or two. Um, Daniel that was Daniel. Well, that was an ATC as well. Look, anyway. Anyway. We'll see whether this works. In the pits also, Vincent Carr. And also the pits, Andrew Cayado. And that looks like Reese Gardner to me. If I can just say, yes, it is Reese Gardner. In his um, XSG Motorsport Honda Accord. Remember, this is all for promotion and relegation, though. Remember, Tobit? These Absolutely. drivers are fighting for their Server 1 lives. Yes, they are. 14th place in Server 1 is the same amount of points as it is in Server 2 for a win. So, uh, so many drivers can go up and down, and it only Indeed. takes one or two bad results. So, keep back. This is the most up race season, of now. course. Start the race off, if you start the season off poorly, it's even more difficult to get back into it. So. Yeah, Very I mean, indeed. that's and why pre-qualification is so important, Braham's sorry. NATO, sorry, Braham's got past NATO. And NATO's got past Braham, I'm sorry, should I say. It just happened just now, just at the, at the turn four, at the end of the long straight. I do believe. Braham's, Braham's. NATO's way back, he's made four. a mistake, Braham's way back, he's made a mistake, Four seconds. It? That's yeah, NATO and Amaral together. Oh, NATO's already ahead, that's all I mean, thick. Are NATO's you? already ahead of Amaral. I apologise, guys. Um, NATO was ahead of Amaral, so... Na Amaral's taken NATO. No, what happened was um, there was a bit of a flicker somewhere, and I think it was. I can't remember who it was now. Anyway, the, the order is exactly the same as it was before. So <laughs> it's VR yeah, from Lauritsen, <laughs> Tolborg, and then Amaral, and with NATO. NATO and Fit. I think maybe NATO died on the inside of Amaral had gone wrong, because I saw, I saw a name flicker somewhere. 
I'm sure the viewers will <laughs> <more> than me. <laughs> I'm trying to do cameras and commentate at the same time. I'm not going to be watching this broadcast back later. <laughs> It's half past three in the morning, leave me alone. <laughs> I've limited brain cell at noon, never mind half past three. Okay, I've, I've been informed that nothing happened. Nothing so, happened. We, <laughs> so we just, <laughs> just wasted some of our lives. <laughs> Let's look and see who's going to pit this time round. Yes, there should be plenty of people pitting this time round. And, and it's not VR, it's not Lawrence. It is Amaral and NATO, though. It's not Tolbot. This is, is actually a lap. I don't see it saying that longer this time round. Two lap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it is one lap later than the majority. Yeah, well, everyone pitted, lots of people pitted lap 5 and 6. Look at that, we are still doing 218 threes, though. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's pretty good. But Lawrence, 2.1 seconds the gap, look. Yeah. 2.1 seconds the gap, it's gained 8 tenths since we last checked it. I think. Oh, never mind. I have no idea what's going on. I said Lawrence and uses up his tyres, but obviously that's not the case either. Well, we're only on lap 6. That's true, that is true. It's not a very long run, is it? So it could have been. Yeah, I was pointing the pitcher, and I can't tell who's coming in. Oh, there's Amaral. That's there's but, Klein. Uh, that's, is that Talborg? No, that's uh, that's Tobol's cool. sort of black trim on the front of his car. Right. Okay. So that's that's uh, that's Braham. That's Braham then. So Amaral's away. That's very much status quo here. There's Barrick coming out as well. And there comes Klein. To annoy him. And here comes. Oh, he's doing doing that. Go oh. down the normal side of the track. What are you doing? Avoiding the bumps though, aren't they? But he's obviously hasn't pulled across earlier. It's a bit dangerous, that like. Yeah. It's a bit of a risky move. Either way, everyone goes on just as normal. Vincent Calm. Vincent Calm. He's um, a bit close to Barrick before the pick ups, I'm pretty sure. So, he's lost a bit of ground there. But everyone's still there for Barrick as he goes through turn two in pursuit of Matthias Klein. He's the battle for 11th place at the moment. Just ahead of them is Kane Lasky and Braham. It's a in battle. You'd Braham expect a bit of. Sick of that purple car. Absolutely. You'd, um, you'd expect a bit of understeer when you put brand new brand new tyres on the front um, because they're cold when they, when they first come out of the... Uh, well, they're like, like 80, 85 degrees in, in races. Yeah. So not not 100, 100 degrees though, is uh, it? They've still got a little not bit... Not to pressure as well, that's probably... Uh, yeah, not to pressure either, yeah. Um, so, uh, the balance... This time around, who's going to pick this time around? It must be the, the pit stops for the leaders this time around, surely. Uh, I wouldn't... Yeah, Lennon left it one more lap after this and uh, it didn't work for him. Let's see what the lap time is if VR does carry on. He won't. Everyone will pit. Won't. Everyone's going to pit. Everyone's pitting in the same, t same as he did last time, lap 5 and lap 6. If you were a, a, a BMW driver, Mr. Callan, uh, would you take four tyres or would you take rear tyres? Or what? Um, I have no idea. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're real drivers. I've never, never driven the, 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 the BMW competitively. Never enjoyed it. Lennon didn't, hasn't waited long, long this time around. It's obvious with front wheel drive, you eat front tyres, so you take front tyres yes. or you take four tyres. I'm um, pretty sure they take you... they take rears when they go into the pits. Just rears, okay. Just, just, just from, rem from memory. They don't take all four because it's just too long. No one takes all four, it just takes too long, you lose seven seconds extra. And that's... Yeah. Okay, so you just take rears then in the BMW car? Yeah, you know, or, or one side. Here comes VR, and his Larson's a lot closer than he was when he entered. Well, they're going very slowly, so it's always a, always four shorter. Yeah, the that's gap. true. That's true. Let's see what the gap is. See, Larson's not going to accelerate. Yeah, yet, and VR's disappeared. So it looks like the gap is actually pretty much the same. Maybe slightly, slightly, slightly reduced. Yeah. But um, Amaral, here comes Amaral. Here comes Braham. Braham. How was Braham? Braham doing that? Oh, it's just it's just an extra lap, it's, it's, it's still, it's still sorting itself out. In China. Okay. <laughs> I was for a second. <laughs> it's all pretty much as it was before, but in fact, Tolbot has been gained on by Amaral by a lot. Look at that! That's the only change, um, and that's just a gap of short and Amaral's had a great stop. He's pulled away from NATO, and he's pulled right into Tolbot. Tolbot had a couple of second lead over Amaral before. So this is a big train for Amaral. Teamed up with Kaido. Kaido has not had a great race at all. So Lauritsen and VR, there's the gap. Maybe slightly closer, what about 8 seconds, do you think? Yep, 1.8 yeah, seconds. This? Oh, what what, what, what a well. guess! <laughs> Congrats! <laughs> I can count. Talborg and Amaral, it's half second apart. NATO just is another second back. Much more spread out in this race, it seems. From Braham and Laskin. There's Klein. Here is Barrick. Here comes Khan. Here comes um, Eric Nelson. Oh, oh it's that another round! That's Hugo Gonzalez! Oh, oh! Well avoided, Kaido! That could have been a 
huge crash. What happened to him? I have he was no in a idea. Battle with these guys. Must have been contact. Lennon looked lost out quite a lot here. Lennon, Jaminet, and Diogo Lopez looked like they were involved in that battle there. And, and Gunsal was just disappeared onto the grass. Not sure what happened to him. Oh, Lennon! What are you doing, lads? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't paying attention, was he, obviously? Very sideways. And, uh, very sideways indeed. Right behind. Right behind. Right behind. No, that group is Daniel McKernan. Putting in an even better performance than his illustrious teammate. Um, Corey Slade, here is um, oh, Ethan, Ethan Bass, there's Simon Kylov. Where is Corey Slade in fact actually? I wonder if he's not even in the game. Can't see him on the monitors, not even in the game Corey Slade anymore, so he's lost out somewhere. Ethan Bass is the last winner at the moment, Simon Kylov has also DNF'd. Hugo Gonsalves is now last as, as a result of that. The leader of the race is Francisco Villar still, from uh, Goritzen. There's Kylov, here is Bass, way down, he's had some troubles. Oh. Bass is not quite slowing anymore because there goes Reese Garner off the track. Hunts back on, side by side. Bass, oh, Bass moves around the outside. And Bass is up into second last now rather than at the back of the field. He's got someone to battle with. Hugo Gonsalves is in 17th now as, as a result of that. How far back does one, one um, date cost you? Yeah, that's how high the field is these days. It's, uh... Just a couple of tens here, a couple of tens there. This is the Keith, biggest battle track at the moment. Keith will tell you that. It's uh, McKernan, uh, Lopez, Lennon and uh, Jaminet, isn't it? It is. And it's just going to look inside of Lopez. Take 13th. Actually, um, Lennon's not his actual debut in this series, I don't, I, don't, I don't believe. And Lopez is... Certainly a return for him, isn't it? Sorry? L certainly a return. L oh, no! Oh! What's he doing? Oh, that's just silly. Oh, I think he was bookgrafting Lennon all the way down that straight. And that's actually completely against the rules also, and that's the reason for it. You just yeah, bump drafting just never works. If that was the case, then uh, I think Lopez might get quite a significant penalty for that. Just, uh, just bump drafting just never like it works. Very, very and never ever down. works. Yeah, and, and, and it's, against, it's, it's, it's put in the rules, no bump drafting allowed. And there's a graphic example of exactly why that rule is in place. Of course. I mean, you, you just have to break one metre later than you... Well, you just have to break one metre earlier than the guy behind you, and you're off. That's it. Yes, absolutely. And it's just, it's just you know, it's too big of a risk. That's cost Lopez as well. He's not back in 15th. Can I come past him? And Kernan as well. So, just some silly stuff really there. So, the back of the front is already spread out this time around. All calm down, because it's got later in the night. Miguel Nato in behind. It's uh, it's one of those where everyone's sort of happy with where they are. I think no one really wants to uh, wants to risk losing their position, especially up the front. Have you noticed, uh, by the way, who's in front of Torbo? Pedro Morales. What happened? What happened a, a lap or so ago because as I said they were ahead. He got a great pit stop, Morales. He's taking full advantage of that, hasn't he? And Nato can't even keep up with these two guys. Incidentally, the gap. For, from VR to uh, mm. Lauritsen is 1.3 seconds. Uh, we'll see. We'll see about that one. We'll just keep an eye on that gap. Not quite uh, as much of a win as I thought. No, Talbot is right in behind Amaral and he's got the long straight, although uh, Talbot is in the Honda. <laughs> Talbot's in the Honda. Not so is Amaral as well. Oh yeah, so he is. So it's not a big deal. Not had to run off the corner though, because he's not had the greatest slip stream. Maybe in position down the straight. Is he going to send one at the inside? Looks he's like it. Oh, he always thought about it. Better. Well, it didn't split the brake as well. He split it down and from suspension. What's your uh, What's your favourite car out of this uh, out of this lot to drive? Honda. I always drive my Honda. Very boring, I know. Oh, nice simple answer. <laughs> <laughs> So we to elaborate a little bit more than that. <laughs> it's like driving the Honda. The loose brakes and the way it feels, and oh, and Torborg. Make a move at some point. He knows he can't get better than third. Having raced Talbot, but none of those are serious attempts. They're, they're all just keeping your nose in, reminding you you he's, he's there. Boring. Yeah, just harrying. It's really the word. Forcing he, knows you into he, not, he knows he's not in the best third position anyway. He's not pushing really hard because one person gets past and not go anywhere else. And the gap between Lawrence and VR. 0.8 seconds. It only needs. Oh, it. It's no, so <laughs> stick your brake bias forwards, lad. Seriously. 
<laughs> Always out of shape. It's, it's worse than you. Yeah. Oh. He's pushing hard. He, 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 can, hard. He, he can smell the victory, you know. No, just stop. <sighs> okay. Uh, vi okay. <laughs> Call it. VR, VR allow it, son. VR. VR is okay. incredibly difficult to pass. Incredibly I'm gonna say, to I'm pass. gonna watch the gap. If the gap comes down, I'm gonna say Lauritsen. Let's have a look. What's the gap now? Come down. Lauritsen. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom has got past Amaral. Yeah, Amaral. indeed. Tom has got past Amaral. He moved that was down into the, into the snakes. I have, I have a feeling. It's straight. It's, it's I have straight. a feeling that was the case. He was very close coming off that long right hand of He was behind at the end of set two, which is just down that back straight. So just after. Just didn't start up back straight, you're saying. Oh, look at those sideways into there. Tom, and it slowed down. Oh, what a double then. So did I. He had a co little correct there that was nearly an overcorrect. He just about saved that one. And I'm wrong, even though he, he went sideways. Oh, he went even oh, oh, That's what happened with new... The this car is ruined, it seems. That's what happens with new fronts. You, you put new fronts on and it turns it into an over mess sometimes, and it's uh, it difficult to get it back. And Klein, uh, Klein and... Uh, no, it's Klein, too. I always say it wrong. I was confused with the tires bit. Oh, VR and Lauritsen, here they are! Here no! Contact. Not again! Oh, hard contact! Oh, Lawrence, you're off track. You cannot come back on if someone else is already in the way. <laughs> and, unfortunately, they come to contact. But, fortunately, not the same consequences as before. That, we just caught the end oh of Oh my that. god, Lawrence and everywhere. It's all over the place. I wonder, I wonder. I wonder I if that was a late dive. I think Lawrence must have been on the outside and VR defending because that seemed that looked like how it seemed. And VR, Lawrence just went a bit wide. Tried to come back on track, of course. Lawrence's car was already there, having absolutely none of it. But contact again, twice in two races. Look at that, though. I mean, that that was a big gain that Amar uh, that Lawrence had in the first sector on Viad, wasn't it? It was. Uh, it was what four tenths or something? Was it a beautiful run off turn two and get the beautiful yeah. stick string. There's still time left. Absolutely, There's another lap. Not yet. Not He's made, made another tenth. Actually. Made another tenth there as well. I think Talbot's done uh, Amaral now. Perhaps. NATO just can't seem to get into position to make a move. I'm quite surprised by that. These two have been battling for quite a long time, and uh, and so you should have up considerably. That was right quite, through quite a lot of corners, and NATO didn't seem to have the speed I expected to go straight past. I expected to, to catch up, even when they're not battling, never mind when they are battling. So maybe that uh, is, more, is a more um, uh, subdued NATO behind that, that, that car. Yeah, Amaral has made a mistake. Off yeah, Amaral the put a wheel. On. Amaral put a wheel on the grass on the entrance. He just got a little bit sideways as, as a result, and ended up running a little bit wide because he had to correct the slide. Here we go. Yeah. Nato in the slipstream. He's going to pull out and try and make a move into the first corner. Right on the side. He hasn't quite Amaral got first straight line speed. Runs of that Honda. Absolutely, I wasn't expecting that at wow. all. I was expecting to cruise by. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. So the gap at the front of the field is 0.3 of a second, so we'll stick with this for now, shall we? This is for the win. It's the final lap. Lawrence is switching his headlights. That's where we intimidated VR, but I think it'll take a bit more than that. It's, oh, oh he There's went no the gap. gap. There is no gap. VR doesn't need to lose. David Gap. No! Stop it! Again. Get the car slowed down, boys. And again, contact. Three times. Four times now in two races. I have to say that's simply because Lauritsen cannot keep the car in a straight line under braking for whatever reason, and he just knocked into the side oh, of Pierre. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, he's, he's in comparison. it's just it's just a completely different way of setting up the car. I think that's all I can think of. Look at that! Just squirms under every braking zone. I don't see VR squirm once. No, me neither. It, I've it's never just, seen it even over here once. It, no, the, me the, neither. We drive car. Watch, watch the difference on the exit corner. That was counter lock, counter steering all the way through. It's like he's got. Uh, yeah, I like think, I think, I think, I think, I think VR's, Yeah, absolutely. I was just gonna say VR's pulled out just a, a few car lengths here, and it just could be enough. Although Lawrence, I don't know. It's Lawrence gonna say <laughs> if Lawrence sends one up here, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I, I, it's in one of those position, position, uh, positions, isn't it, where you don't know what, whether to defend or to attack. Uh, whether to defend or just take a normal line. Look oh, at that! Out of shape, he's pushing so, so hard. He's going to try and get a run off the final corner, I think. That's his only chance. His only chance to get a run off the final corner, or a hope for a mistake from BR, which is not going to happen. Into the final corner, they come. Although oh, BR has missed the apex, so you know. So close, he's going to be on for it. He's going to be on for you and hold. 
VR's coming across. Oh, he's not going to have enough run. Not enough of a run. He's just going to push each other to the line. That's going to be a <laughs> VR's win. VR's win from Lawrence, and it's that close. Less than a car length. Tenth of a second between them. So VR win wins race two. He made a habit of that last season. He's done it again. Lawrence has pushed him extremely hard, though. And Amaral pushed um, Tallbog extremely hard as well. But the first and the third for Tallbog. I'm very pleased with that. Fourth place to Amaral. Great performance from him after being hit by his teammate Nato. I wonder if Nato didn't attack Amaral because uh, he hit him in the first race. Anyway, fifth place for Nato. Sixth place for Freyha. Seventh and eighth for the two BAU relentless teammates Klein and Lasky. Ninth place for Keith Barrick after his opening lap woes. Tenth place for Vincent Kahn. It's a decent recovery from him considering where he was after race race one. Eleventh place for Nelson. Twelfth place to uh, Kayado. That's uh, Jaminate we're seeing on the screen there. Fourteenth place, Lopez. Fifteenth place, McKernan. Sixteenth place, Hugo Gonzalez. Seventeenth place in the end, Gary Lennon, after being punted off by Diogo Lopez. Eighteenth place was Ethan Bass, just about holding off Reese Gardner and not finishing the race. Um, Simon Kailov. There's several other people who were not able to finish the race. Leslie Lucchese, Danny Lasbury being two of them, and Corey Slade. But VR takes that win. He does indeed, and he he did that from the from the start really, didn't he? he was he made that excellent getaway straight into the lead, and uh, Lauritsen bogged down. That's the difference. Uh, Lauritsen yes, got yeah. caught up by a, a couple of cars early on, and I mean, uh, it meant he couldn't make the make the progress that his pace showed that he could do. And then uh, and then in the end, VR was stronger at defending. So we, we, we've got two key, key points, haven't we? Tolborg with his pit stop in race one, and the start of Lawrence in race two, but, you know, both winning or costing them, you know, the, the wins. Just those, those small things that add up and, uh, and give you the championship at the end of the day. How, how, you, how, how much were you impressed by Lawrence's fight back there? It was a great fight back. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, uh, we, know, we both I, called it. We said it's a runaway win for VR. You know, yeah, we, well, that's, <laughs> because, that's because in the first race, Lawrence just yep. couldn't match him. So obviously he did something to his setup or just drove better or didn't have any damage or whatever. Um, but Lauritsen had stronger pace than VR definitely at the end of the, at the end of race two there, and uh, yeah, kudos to him. It's a it's a good start to his ATCC Server One career. So Toby Davis was talking uh, rubbish once again on about uh, Lauritsen's tyres, and uh, I joined another I'm person who likes to talk rubbish. It's Mr. <laughs> Keith Barry. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. Toby. Um, race one, superb. Oh, yeah. Um, we, we commented you're a, you're a bit of a snake in the grass. Hey. Well. Uh, okay, like when it, when it, uh, when it, like snake in the grass is is more like I'm I was more surprised than anything. I know obviously some things went our way. Uh, I, me and Jesper both went into the race, you know, looking to hopefully salvage some top t top fives. Um, with this track obviously being a BMW track, but with a little bit of uh, fortune on our side and misfortune on others, like uh, Stoffel Van Dorn unfortunately got a uh, an internet drop and uh, he wasn't able to race and and he had the pace to I think he was the pole sitter I, I believe wasn't he. But uh, anyways, no, um, he was there. But still, uh, another fast BMW driver. And start went well. Um, it seemed pretty clean. Uh, just took advantage of the little little things that happened in the first race. Uh, the pit stop. I pitted one lap earlier uh, than the other guys with uh, with Yuri Braham. And uh, by pitting that earlier, I I almost could have had Jesper coming out of the pits. But teammate, I'm not going to take that chance, um, especially this early in the season. And for us to come away in race one with a one-two, uh, it's huge. I mean, we well yeah. beyond our expectations. Wonderful result. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, race one was pretty well picture perfect from what I could see. I had a terrible start, went back to I think 11th or. 12th and then just slowly chip my way back up taking advantage of everything I could and uh, race one was good though race two <laughs> opening lap um, well, you, got a bit, you got a bit aggressive with NATO down into turn one you had a great start yeah and then down into turn three sorry should I say not turn one a bit aggressive with NATO and it put, put you off into the grass and you yes. just got mugged Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, the start—I don't know where that came from. It's probably the best start I've ever had in my life in a front-wheel drive. When you're <laughs> passing BMWs in a in a front-wheel drive car, you've nailed it. And I was just—I was up to fourth from seventh yes, by, yeah. even before turn one, and I got a good one coming out of two, uh, and I was headed down the outside of NATO and. From where I could see, I was clear. Um, NATO just didn't he didn't want to give the room. I mean, uh, you know, obviously racing incident, but uh, it's definitely side by side from what we saw. Uh, 
from what I saw, like on my screen, I wouldn't have turned down mm. if it was side by side. But obviously, nature of internet, I, I'm not faulting him for it. Um, but uh, at, once that happened, I was in 11th, and then carrying on through, I ended up in an incident with Yuri and Kane. Kane was down the inside, Yuri was on the middle, and I was stuck on the outside after making yeah. a small little error. No, and then know. I got the same thing and just a little shunt off, and then it was from there. I had suspension damage in both both times, <laughs> but. <laughs> I was happy well, to mind. take a ninth, but uh, it was a good, good run all around. I'm happy with that, and Jesper did phenomenal. I know he's not in here, but uh, he would be ecstatic right now with his, well, with his well, performance. Go and get him. We want to hear him. <laughs> <laughs> and we are joined also by, uh, by Race 2 winner, Mr. Francisco Villar. Welcome back to the ATC, Mr. Francisco. Thank you very Mr. much, Ryan. Hey. And uh, you had a, a potential, perhaps, for, uh, for two race wins. In, a, in that particular event. It was just one race win in the end. So, um... um yeah, I guess so. just, just describe to us the, the accident with uh, with Alex, first of all, in the, in race one. Uh, okay, the accident with, with Alex, I, I don't know. I think he just missed the, his breaking point. Uh-huh. And yeah. he, just, he just stepped to the, the back of my car and I just stood there in the gravel. There was nothing I could do. Yeah, I have some of uh, leg, so... Uh, and, so um... During race um, race two, of course, you had a great battle with Lauritsen once again. Yeah, race two, race two was okay. I, I don't know if, he, if the problems with lag uh, were were solved by then uh, because we were racing uh, door door to door. So I think the the problems with lag must be solved by then. Uh, yeah, I think it was a fair fight, and I came I came out on top in the end. So it was it was great for me. Um, all in all, it could have been a I think it could have been a bit better weekend uh, due to the to the tap on the on first race, but. All in all, it was okay to to have a win in the fifth to, to start the championship. Is good points uh, to try and uh, and win the championship in the end. You must have been very pleased with your your fight back in race one. From you know you were back in twelfth at one point to come back to fifth. Yeah, at the moment I thought that I I just wanted to get to eighth place to 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 have the chance to win second race, but then uh, I got. I got too lucky because Miguel and Vincent can uh, crashed in front of me, and I I was able to to fight back and win some positions. Uh, I think I finished fifth, and it could have been even uh, even better, uh, but it was okay. Absolutely, and of course you're a you kind of team spokesman for uh, for Team Portugal. I mean, how excited are Team Portugal for this this series? Uh, I think uh, Team <laughs> Portugal should be probably the most excited team. We are practicing every single night. We are practicing all together. We wow. are nine. Right on. Uh, so uh, it's it's great for us because uh, we are pushing for each other, and uh, and in the end we have our our own championship to as well. So it's good that we we go to the limits uh, every night. It's great to have you guys uh, as part of the series, as part of you know, running together, hunting the wolf pack. I think I uh, referred to earlier on. Thank you very much, and congratulations on your uh, on your two race results. Thank you very much. We move on now to uh, Mr. Lauritsen. He yeah. got a good sixth place in, uh, in, race, in race one after fighting back to wait yeah. for VR, very sportingly. And uh, in, in race two, you thought you pushed VR extremely hard. Yes, uh, I have uh, made some uh, different uh, race setup in race two, and uh, it was uh, better. So I'm, uh, I have uh, more stable times, so, so I could uh, yeah, keep the catch to uh, Francisco. Yeah, because we, we were commenting that, but Toby was commentated, commenting that um, yeah. you, you you seemed like you had high tire wear in race one, but in race two it's much better. Yeah, much better. In the the tires was much better. Yes. And and how happy are you with a, a sixth and a second? Uh, I'm happy happy for the race two. Yeah. And uh, how how do you see the rest of the championship going? Do you, do you feel yourself you, you're a, a realistic contender for the championship? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. But it's a uh, very hard championship. And just let, let me just ask you quickly yeah. about the um, the incident with VR in in race one. Yeah. From your point of view. Yeah, I have uh, some uh, little lag, so so I uh, yeah, I push him. Uh, I make a little push to him. Yeah, you very so sportsly. You very sportsly yeah. waited for him, so that's uh, yeah. Congratulations to you, and that's um, I'm Thank sure you. VR Thank appreciate that, that that as well. Thanks. Thank you very much, and. Uh, a quick word with uh, Mr. Yuri Braham. I... Even though you didn't finish on the podium at any of the races, you just decided to gate crash the, uh, the interviews. I invited him. He had a good run. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, I'm stoked. Uh, I'm happy to be back in ATCC. Happy to see everyone uh, getting around. 
And uh-huh. this was really an intensive race. Uh, I know for sure that you guys had a uh, busy job on the broadcast. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> race one especially. Oh, man. Well, I have seen everything in this race. And, well, what can I see? Uh, my team is doing very fine. Alexander did uh, get his points. I got some points. And I think uh, everything is open for this race. You know, you will see everyone on the podium, I think. On that on that team's, on that that team's team championship, uh, on that team... Um, subject. How how do you think you rate? Yeah, I get the question out eventually. How do you rate your chances in the in the team championship? In the team team championship. Well, I mm-hmm. think uh, we will do a very uh, very good job to uh, get in the top three. That's for sure. To win it, that's something different. But uh, I will try everything in it. And uh, yeah, of course I call for the win. Absolutely. And uh, we we uh, we hope that you. Uh, Carry on your good, your good form. I mean, just describe quickly those those two races for you. I mean, they were they were action packed, n- no doubt about that. Uh, what can I say? Yeah, there are <laughs> a couple of new names, so you had to build up some trust around some guys. And of course, on these high speed tracks, so when you're on the straight, uh, you, re- you have to rely on each other. Uh, when you're slipstream, full speed, and then you cut to the corner. When the car behind you decides not to brake on time, yeah, you both end in the, in the, in the gravel. So the first race was a little bit uh, overdubbed. And in the second race, I decided to completely remove my uh, wing and uh, try everything <laughs> from that car. And just and hope uh, for the best, eh? Of those that, that you raised that were newcomers, I mean, which one impressed you the most? Uh, for us now, well, I really wanted to see Mr. Van Dorn uh, driving. Uh, too bad he had some technical issues with his car or something. But too bad. Yeah, indeed. And well, from the newcomers, uh, I yeah, I'm gonna say my teammate Alexander, uh, you did an awesome job. And yeah, keep it clean, keep it safe, and then uh, uh, the victory is really for you. So I think uh, I, put, I put my money in. Okay, thank you very much, Yuri, and uh, congratulations on your results as well. We're looking forward to seeing you throughout the season. We do enjoy watching you racing. Thank and, you. And um, congratulations to you for punting Keith off as well. We like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sell that, right? <laughs> and, uh, and Keith, I mean, obviously the um, the organiser, well, the co-organiser, now you've wrote me into it, um, yeah, of, the well, a- of the ATCC. Hold on, hold on. You volunteered, Ryan, and I don't think you knew what you were chewing. I think you, I think you bit <laughs> off one you could chew. I did it for these guys, man. I did it for these guys. I did it for the viewers. I did it for for the drivers. I did and it for touring these, touring post series as well too, right? I did, it your, I did it for your peace of mind, Keith. Yeah, well, I appreciate it because uh, I'll tell you right now, like going headed into race one, you, by by knowing that you've got you, were, you had things under control with the broadcast, it honestly, man, it really really helps. I can't thank you and Toby enough for getting the broadcast sorted out for all the drivers because you know how much like, it means a lot to, for me to have the broadcast up, and I know it does for you too. And me just being able to focus on racing was the whole reason I did well in race one. So I owe well, that, my finish to you guys for sure. That's enough licking ass now. <laughs> um, 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 uh, the ATCC, of course, it's getting stronger and stronger, isn't it? It's it's almost almost it's too unreal. strong. It it is unreal. It's it, I mean I from what I could see there was battles pretty well everywhere. I know some people uh, had some heartache, um, some disconnects. Corey Slade got a, a, his inner, he had a storm roll in. He lives in Bathurst. Storm oh, rolls in power goes out. He almost predicted it, and he had a bad race in race one. But you know what? The what makes great racers in in any of the leagues that we put together, especially ATCC, is is just dusting yourself off, moving on from ra- the race and carrying on to the next one. And um, I mean I, I'm predicting some I'm predicting some incredible racing over the next seven events. Um, through with from everyone because there's, I mean, there's a lot of speed. On, you know on pre-qualifying for example I mean Corey was right up there in, in pre-qualifying for, yeah. you know right up there but I mean come, come the race uh, here you know really struggled it shows you just you've got to keep that level of of of, um, of um, intensity of speed up of you know yeah. of quality up and also I mean Swiderski and, and Scullop, for example, and Blaine in you know in server two. You know who, who would have thought that before the season? <laughs> well, he, the, the big thing with that is 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 uh, for anyone that's watching and that that maybe just started watching yeah, ATCC. Yeah, yeah, please explain it. Next next race, we're gonna have uh, probably I'm gonna just take a, a quick estimate, maybe anywhere between five to ten new drivers in server one because of the the relegation and delegation of drivers up promotion and demotion from server one down to server two, server two up, based on our point structure that Ryan put together. So uh, it's gonna be a whole new whole new kettle of fish headed into uh, the second round, which is two weeks from today. Absolutely, and we look forward to those guys coming up as well. And uh, make sure you. Uh... You check the forums, the race department forums. It's under the Race of Seven Leagues and ATCC. You get all the news there. And also, we do have a new website coming very, very soon. Uh, hopefully, we finish this weekend. I've got to work on that. And uh, we'll have touringproseries.com 
working in the very near future. I'll be able to watch all the broadcasts on there, see all the past champions, Hall of Fame, read all the news articles. Got big things for that website coming, so make sure you tune into that. Of course, our forums, though, will stay on Race Department. Please be assured of that. We're not moving forums in any way, shape, or form because we enjoy being a Race Department. We both enjoy being part of the professional forum that's there. And uh, make sure you to uh, look out for TouringProSeries.com and make sure you join our Facebook page as well, which is just facebook.com slash Very nice, Very nice and easy for everyone to rem- remember. And um, we hope you, uh, we hope you uh, watch next time, of course, in two weeks' time. Where we and we also to, have WTM uh, as well, too, coming up, too, just to remind them. We do indeed in two weeks' time. We've got, in two weeks' time, we've got WTM on Wednesday and uh, um, uh, the ATCC once again on Friday. So we've got uh, Lusitano at WTM and uh, we've got uh, – it's, it's Watkins Lane, right, Keith? Correct. Yeah, and uh, it'll it'll be a little more it'll be a little more diverse, I think, up at the front between the front wheel drives and the BM, uh, BMWs because it, it is a very difficult track to master uh, in the BMW there, and um, it, I think it'll be a really a much more interesting race just dividing the BMWs with the front wheel drives because this track was definitely a BMW track for sure. Absolutely. So thank you to all the drivers for um, for racing with us, and thank you to uh, to uh, obviously Keith for for organising all this as well. Thank you to Toby. For, who's unfortunately not here at the moment? His fire alarm's gone off, so he's had to <laughs> scarf her out of the building. So, um, uh, but thank you, Toby, for um, for co commentating with me, and I hope you guys all enjoyed the show, and we'll see you in a, in a couple of weeks' time. Thanks for watching.